The first 24 hours are a really important time for calves. Calves do not have their immunity passed from their mother before they're born. Good quality colostrum is needed to quickly supply this immunity to the calf. At birth, a calf's gut is not fully formed. This allows the large immunoglobulins to pass directly into the bloodstream where they need to be to build immunity. The gaps in the gut close up over time. By 24 hours of age, they're fully closed and immunoglobulins can't be absorbed into the bloodstream anymore. It's vital for this reason to get colostrum into the calf quickly. A simple way to make sure that this is happening is to do twice daily calf pickups and feeds so the colostrum is reaching any newborns in the critical 24 hour window. It's important to note that this should be first milking colostrum, which contains a high level of energy, vitamins and minerals, and the all important immunoglobulins the calves need. Quality of colostrum can be affected by a range of things like pre-calving nutrition, breed, and how long it's been between birth and the first milking. A BRICS meter can be used to check quality. Even though the gut has closed at 24 hours of age, colostrum from all milkings after the first one should continue to be fed for at least the first four days. Any immunoglobulins will act in the gut to improve health, and the milk from those first few days still contains a higher nutrient level versus standard milk that's destined for the dairy factory. After feeding first milk in colostrum in the first 24 hours, then colostrum from the second to eighth milking for as many days as it's available, the calf can then move on to milk. This can be ad-lib for the first week or so. At this point, the calves are getting their nutrition from the milk being digested in the abomasum. The abomasum compartment of the stomach is the main one calves get their nutrition from shortly after birth, and this is where the milk is directed to.